I know. I'm sorry, Glimmer. Hello. Yeah, hello, everyone. We're back. It's not Toa tonight. I forgot to change the title. Oh, no. It's actually Trails. Um, if it was Thursday, we would be doing Toa, but I'm also not doing Toa this Thursday either. We're still on semi-break or something? I don't know. <laughs> sorry. That's like the second time in a row I've done that. But I don't know why. It like low-key used to be easier when I used Restream because I would like open up the page to set both titles at one shot. But now it's like, oh, I have to come to the dashboard and everything. But oh well. Speaking of, um, multi-streaming might be coming back at some point. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Now I have to go to bed at a slightly unreasonable, less slightly unreasonable. Wait, no, what time is it for you, Glimmer? Also go to bed. How far are you in the 1cc though? Uh, which one? PCB? Uh, we got it. PCB we got last Thursday. Last Thursday? No. Not last Thursday. Uh, two Thursdays ago. Hello. Two thirty. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's still kind of bad. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, GG, thank you. Um, I can post the, uh, here, I'll post the, uh, clear for you. When you shop with shit. Here you go. This is the, uh, the 1cc. So, what else do I want to mention while I'm slowly loading up the game and being slow at life? Um, hello. It's been a while since I've done this. Like, a week or so. <laughs> um, it's gonna continue to be on and off streams for a little bit. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. Um... But, in the meanwhile, where's the game? There you are. Hello? I don't know, you're supposed to be four, right? And then I do that. Blah 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 Are you actually doing it? Yeah, you're kinda doing it. Oh god. I will do a little bit of that. I don't know. We're still learning. Okay, let's catch up on what we've done in the past. So... We... Have nothing to do. <laughs> no, we finished up, um... Chapter 1 last time. Hi Blaba, how's it going? So we finished up chapter one last time, and Signa left us, and I started us off in chapter two. Um, and I think we're supposed to go back home. That's what we'll do. You actually picked up your clarinet again, it's starting to start to get better again. Let's go. So happy to hear that. Let's try going home first. Eartha! Nayuda? Eartha, have you seen Signa? What's the matter? You're in such a rush. Signa just stopped by our place a little while ago. I knew it. He was back on Remnant Isle. Do you have any idea where he went? Hmm, sorry, but I'm not too sure. But he did say something odd. Odd? He wanted you to know that he's taking a break from the handyman business and will leave the rest to you. He seemed pretty serious and nothing like at all like his usual self. It's weird, right? You two just reopened the business. I see. Thank you, Ortha. I'm gonna look around some more. So he definitely came back to the village. 
I should try visiting Master Orbis' house on the beach. There might be a clue there. Alright, so on a thankful note, we don't have any side quests we can pick up right now. We can say hello to the dog. And the dog is going to give us a mosquito. A sea turtle. Oh! He found me! Liar's gonna come over today to learn how to cook. Aw, oh, how cute. Okay, I guess we can't make food right now. That's okay. Um, well, I want to do one thing first, because I remember we got a... Oh, no. No? Maybe? Did I not pick up a star fragment? Oh, my God. Yeah! I guess we can't do- there's one in Naida's room. Oh. Well, that'll do it. Aha! How's audio, by the way, Blubba? Oh, you are pretty! With the random gear in the- oh, a couple of gears in the water, too. Audio sounds good, let's go! Okay, I thought there'd be a little bit more to that, but I guess there wasn't. Okay. Um, so there's no side quests. Yeah, so today is going to be pretty chill, honestly. We're just going to kind of get stuff done around town. If there are side quests, we'll do them. But also just kind of hang out for the next couple of hours. So kick back and relax, everybody. If you talk to Sculp, is that Lyra? Oh, Naida, wasn't Signa with you? Yeah, but we kind of split up. Uh, you seem kind of down. Did you guys have a fight? I don't know. I don't really get it. Signa, why? Man, you guys are so much work. Look, you guys are three years apart to start with. Of course you're not gonna complete, going to understand each other completely. True. You just need to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Also true. Well, what? Why'd you get so quiet suddenly? <laughs> it's nothing. I was just thinking about how much this sounds like you. Thanks. I feel a bit better now. What are you even saying? That is not Sculp. Dude, everyone's trying to get Nayuda and uh, Lyra together. It's great. I love it so much. Kids need to be scolded properly when they're when they need to be scolded. There's no question who wears the pants on the farm, huh? Doesn't Kenny come from a village of St. Elise? Yeah. Yeah, and I guess that's what makes her so bullheaded, just like her father. But I guess that's what I meant if I'll love the bird. Oh my gosh, Dumber, don't make me. <laughs> By the by, Naida, there's something I wanted to ask. What is it? Actually, I just heard it from Antilia, but. Antlia, but. Apparently, if you use well fertilized soil, crops grow a whole lot better. That seems like it's pretty popular on the continent. We don't have any much good-looking soil on Remnant Isle, so... Have you heard anything, Naida? Heard of soil, huh? Can't say that I have. Land on Remnant Isle has always been covered in salts. So it may be hard to find any. I expected you'd say so. Is what I, is, it is what it is, I guess. Sorry to ask you for the impossible. But if you ever do come across any good soil somewhere, I'd really appreciate you sharing. If you keep it at the back of your mind. Sure thing. Well fertilized soil, huh? If I ever find it, there's no reason not to bring it back. Is there farming in this game? I swear to God! Also, we can talk to Sasha. I will happily talk to Sasha. Hey, Sasha. Do you know anything about Cigna? This letter's from my parents' home. <sighs> How'd they find out I was on this island? What's wrong, Sasha? You look upset. Oh, I was just thinking about something. But no, I haven't seen Cigna. Sorry, Naida. I see, thanks. Can I buy it? Hi. Can I buy anything? A guide to fine cuisine I could probably buy. I'm gonna get more money here in a second, so I probably will buy this. The Sasha lore deepens. Thank you. 
Indeed. I do need to get the uh, elastic ball, though, at some point. Uh, you know, some of these are, like, really good. Come again. But I kind of want better equipment, too. Who's this dude? Oh, it's Booty. <laughs> it's King Booty. <laughs> What are you doing, dude? Why is, why is he staring at a wall? <laughs> he's just like, he's just chilling. I did early. He looked kind of serious, though. Serious? I don't know. He didn't seem to be in the mood, so I asked him to come and play. He went to the beach, but I haven't seen him since. I see. Thanks. Why are you staring at a wall, booty? What you got going on in your life, man? You can talk to me. It's okay. How's oh, this lady? Do you have another fragment to give me? Oh no. Oh no. Nayuda, please. I know you're excited to see her, but... No, <laughs> Nayuda, not like this! Uh, there's only one moon in the sky. Humans and God live together. One moon? <laughs> Such a story! Yeah, he's so excited, the next box! <laughs> no! Nayuda, no! You gotta lay off the caffeine, man! You gotta lay off the caffeine, it's okay, dude! <laughs> <laughs> this is just a myth, a forgotten fairy tale. It's up to you to believe in it or not. Boy, am I believing in something, all right? What a strange person. Dude, you're not one to talk right now, let me tell you. Dude, Naida's having a day. He's very excited to see us after we've been away for a while. Anywho, if we come over here, there's a mission. Here it is again. Random things happen when I least expect it, honestly. I do want to go to the museum and sell my stuff, though. Oh, oh my. Welcome. I'm only getting 685 Mira, that's it? Alright, fine, fair enough. Can I go see a turtle? It's probably in there, but we can check in here real quick. Blue butterfly. Beetle thingy up there. I need my turtle. He's probably in there, honestly. So I didn't see anything of like, yeah, there's no pond in here. It's just for insects. Oh, yeah. Eclair. Mrs. Pankula. His noble rank is meaningless. Oh no, poor man. Yo, what's good, dude? Yo, we just chillin'. Alright. I'm sure we'll get better equipment later, but I haven't- I do- um, I am precarious. So the lumberjack isn't exactly worth anything, but the priest stun, the leg legion knife is, that's fine. I already got that. I could pick up a bronze plate and spend all my money, but I don't know if that's exactly the best thing. Wait, is that seriously it? Oh. Well, in that case, I might as well just save my money. Anything else I need to do? Dude, I just... King Booty, what are you doing, bro? I think we're good. Um, what was this house? Oh, it was the mayor's house. I don't think we need to do anything here. Mood. How much XP do I need? 187? I'm not gonna spend... I, I won't. I won't make us sit here and watch me wail on a wooden thing for a singular bit of XP. The one hand and two hand weapons work differently. It's all up to your playstyle. Yeah, I would like to pick one up at one point at least. Um, maybe like a better one. Uh, we can kind of play around with it there. 
It kind of reminds me of the way Adol works with the swords back in E6 Arc of Nepishtim, where you have like the wind sword, which is like your basic sword, but it has a cool wind combo at the end. Then you have the fire sword, which is a bit more heavy, but more damaging, and you can do that cool like charge move and stuff like that. And then you get the electric sword, which is like the rapier of the um, of the game, and you just like go super duper fast with it. And then E7 also had that type of style thing too, I recall, where you eventually can pick up different styles of weapons. Um, and that would change the attack style that Adol would use. So he could become a striker or he could become a... Uh, what calls him? Um, piercer. My god, that took way too long for me to figure out what to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello? Are you there, Master? It's me, Nayuda. Looks like he's out. I feel bad, but I'll look around. I guess Cigna's not even here. Th that's... That's the sword Cigna used to use. It's broken in half. What in the world happened? There's a letter. Thanks for everything. I appreciate you, Master. Goodbye, Cigna. Cigna, you really... I can't believe it either, that he left us only a piece of paper. Master! I found that letter when I returned from exterminating monsters. I've been looking for him since. You know what's going on, don't you, Nayuda? That's... It's all right. I'm sure you have your reasons for not telling me. And perhaps it is just a whim. Don't worry about it too much. Master? This is not the first time he's left without saying anything. He may return like nothing happened. Don't take it too seriously. You're right. Signa wasn't on Remnant Isle after all. He left a letter and didn't write even more than three sentences. Dude, Signa's a man of little words. It's hard to imagine we could have missed each other in this tiny village. Maybe he'd already finished his business and left by the time we got to the garden? Speaking of, I left Noi behind. I didn't even tell her where I was going. I should head back quickly. Nayuda! You can't just leave Noi. She has no idea what's going on on Earth. Gosh dang it. Is that you, Nayuda? Oh my, hello, you are strapping. Dr. Heidel! It's been a while. I see you came back to the island again this month. Yes, I've just arrived on a ferry boat. Even monthly, a half-day ride is quite a challenge. But I do enjoy how calm it is here. Well, I'm glad you're back. You've always been such a great help coming all the way from your clinic in St. Elise. I'll see. Hang on. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do this because I need to figure this out. Uh, Heidel's Porch just looks like he would be a game developer. Dude, honestly, not gonna lie, he looks like the main protagonist of the bad game, Yik. Y-I-I-K. A-L-Y-S-E. With that accent, E. Elise. 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 Alright, fine. We'll go French for that one. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. By the way, Naida, I heard you enrolled at the Academy in St. Elise. It must be your summer break now, then. Is that right? Yeah, I'm back with Cigna. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what's going on, but you seem a little down. I'll be at this inn for a while. 
If you're not feeling well, make sure you come to me right away. Understood? Yes. Hmm. All right. I'll see you later then. I've always found... This is a weird thing to say, but I've always found doctors generally have very deeper voices. And it's, like, extremely calming. Which I guess is part of the point. But, like, y'all ever notice how such calm and, like, deep voices they have? Like, can I have that, please? I would love that. Shane, how's it going, dude? Are you not sleepy? I mean, I know you guys are playing Valorant earlier, but... <laughs> It is late for you, bro. Let go of me! That voice! Come on, stop squirming! The guys kept you up for a while. Oh, boy. Oh, my, Lyra. Don't be so rough. Fun fact, um, Lyra's voice actress, um, Lizzie Freeman, I think that's how you pronounce her name, I've actually met her uh, at a con. When I was in M in Milwaukee a couple years ago, I actually met her in person. She's just, well, she's a wonderful person, I will say. She's so great. Noi! Why are you here? And you're not one, much one to talk, so I kind of sat there for a while and decided to head out since I wasn't doing anything. Oh no, bro. It's all good. I bet doctors learn how to talk calm like that to, to calm patients down. I think so. It's definitely part of like their thing that they got to do, right? I believe so. Poor Noi. Well, hey. I hope you can, uh, find some time to relax here, Shane. And just, you know, cool off. He's also Lapis' as a voice actor. Oh! I feel like I probably would have made a com- Did I make a comment about that during my Reverie playthrough? Well, if not, that's also really cool. She's a great voice actress. She's a really great voice actress. Oh, look at- I just love this portrait. Noi is adorable. I think Noi is a case in this game where the art does better than her model. But, I mean, again, it's a model versus key art. This demon girl is going to eat me! Aww. Why would I eat you? Wait. Is this fairy your friend, Nayota? Well... This is gonna be tough to explain. Good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. You got this. They have many cute portraits in this game. I want them all. Give them all to me. And so... Noi is a real-life fairy from the ruins. If people find out about her, they'll freak out. So I've been keeping it a secret. Nayuda! Oh god, what voice did I give Noi? Uh... 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 We'll figure it out. Was it too obvious that I'm lying? Anyway, I understood most of what's going on. Lyra, why don't we stop prying into this for now? Uh, are you sure? They're definitely hiding a lot more. It's okay. I'm sure Naida is doing it for Noi's sake. And besides, she doesn't seem like a bad girl. Huh? Honestly, you could just look through the files and probably find them. You know, good point, actually. I keep forgetting that everything you want in this game is literally available to you. I mean, if Eartha says so, I guess I'm fine with it. But Nayuda, you didn't have to keep it a secret from me, did you? Sorry, I just couldn't find the right time to tell you. But Lyra, Eartha, can you please keep Noi a secret? Fine, I get it. And Noi, was it? Sorry I yelled at you earlier. Oh, uh, it's okay. We're gonna go with this voice for this one, because I don't remember how to do Noi. Of course, I'll keep it a secret too. Anayuda, make sure you don't keep make everyone worry too much. Exactly. You and Signa are too reckless. I won't help you if you get yourselves involved in stupid things and get hurt. Sorry. I'll make sure to be careful.
Afterwards, at Eartha's suggestion, they decided to keep Noi at the Herschel's whenever she vis visited Remnant Isle. Noi was hesitant, but even she couldn't refuse Eartha's polite invitation. Naida and Noi then decided to go back to Terra. I'm glad Eartha and Lyra understood. I couldn't tell them about Signa yet, though. Still, Noi, what brings you back to this world? Well, uh, you know... I wanted to let you know that I finished preparing for that thing I was going to try out. But then I realized you weren't here. Sorry I left without letting you know. That must have been scary for you. No, it's okay. Besides, it seems like your sister and that girl were willing to keep me a secret. Maybe humans aren't as scary as I thought. Huh? No, it's nothing. More importantly, let's go back to the garden quickly. There's something I need to show you. Show me. Yes, follow me. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Naida is as nosy as ever. If it were if he if it were a dog or a cat, I'd understand. Now he's involved with a fairy? Hmm, <laughs> that's what makes him special. Lyra, you'd better make your move now, or a fairy or an angel might take him. Come on, Eartha, you don't have to make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a cold, Eartha? It's okay to be passionate about your work, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? You're right. Don't worry, I don't have a fever or anything, so it'll get better soon. More importantly, I thought you were here to learn how to cook. Yes, indeed. Oh, you're right! I totally forgot! Okay, but before we go on, we get to... Oh, wait. Oh, I have to go in first? Dang. Alright, fine, we'll go in. This way! Is... is this the gate to... Is this the gate to the... to Heliograd? Uh, give me a second. The most important machine in Terra is in here. If we use it, we might be able to find out where Signa is. Really? Then can I go further? Alright. Alright, I'll give you special permission. Are you ready? Let's do it. No, the piano was just about to kick in! Why does this look like a final dungeon? It's a little dimly lit for being so big. So where's that important machine? Uh, I think it'd be easier if I just showed you. Follow me to the back. Uh, is this it? It looks interesting, but is this all? Just watch. We'll put the master gear in here and... Lab. There we go! Some of the functionality is back! Wh what? What is this? <clears throat> it's the Astro Lab. Oh my god, no. Blah, blah, blah. It's the Astro Lab. Okay, we are gonna figure this out. I believe I need to figure out Noise Voice. 
<clears throat> Nayuda! Nayuda! No, higher! Higher! It's the astrolobe! Maybe... Uh, uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go. Okay, there we go. We'll, okay, we'll go with it. It's a machine that manages the nature and ecosystems of Terra. Manages the ecosystems. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. Whoa. S something came out. Let's start by returning Altapia's climate back to its original state. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nayuda! They're going to eat me! Okay. Nice. Alright, I think we've stopped the anomaly in Altapia. But it looks like the Temple Star energy can't be restored. It doesn't seem to affect anything, so it should be fine for now. Wow. Next, I'll see if I can't locate Signon Zext. I've got a hit! It's coming from the northwestern con continent of Rice, uh, Reese World, Reese World. Maybe Signa really is chasing after Zext. Hmm. This is. This is incredible, Noi! It's more amazing than anything I've ever seen! <laughs> Surprise? That. This is the Astrolab. The most important machine the people of Mythos created. That's the name of the group that the girl Kreha Kre 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 belongs to, right? They must have had extraordinary technology to build something like this. Even then, how can that explain changing the climate and tracking someone's whereabouts? Is something like this even possible? Well, in a nutshell, it's because of star energy. That's what gave the temple that glow, right? Basically, star energy is a source of life. But it's not just in living things. You can find it in the water, wind, and ground, too. It makes up everything in the world. Everything in the world. The astrolobe works with, uh, with it to do some of the things you've already seen. Like manipulate the climate and study life on the continents. Oh, sorry. This is probably too hard to understand, huh? No, I think I get it. It's similar to the concept of atoms that I read about once in an old book. Now you know, I mean, I already knew it, but you really are a bizarre human. Huh? Never mind. Anyway, if we continue getting the Master Gears, we should be able to stop this anomaly. Then let's get going to- then let's get going to Reese World. Reese World. Wait, before that, wasn't Geo captured in Altapia? Yeah. Oh, we might be able to rescue him now that we've turned the climate back. That was a dude. Oh. Then Geo can lend us a hand! Okay then, let's head to the warp device. We should think about where we want to go first. Back to town. You now have access to Reeswell, the chasms of the deep. Look at the- look at how pretty this is! This is like probably the best looking PSP game ever! Like actually speaking, oh my god, this is beautiful! Legit! Oh my gosh. Also, something I noticed, I don't think I noticed before, is Kreha has her own thing, but there's another, um, pod here with the broken gear. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Huh? Noi, you came with me? Yeah. You know, I... I did promise Eartha. So I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to stop by your home. I see. Should I show you around then? I can introduce you to Eartha again too. No, I'm fine on my own. Now that I know Eartha and Lyra are good people, I want to try talking to them. That way, I feel like I can find out what kind of species humans really are. I wonder why Noi seems to be afraid of humans. I don't think there are any other humans around. Well then, I'm off! And don't worry, when you want to go back to Terra, I'll come right along with you! Thanks. Have fun with Eartha and the others. I'll try! 
Alrighty, it is side questing time, my friends. I what? Can I have a lunchbox, please? I need... Um, I can make the grilled skewers. It's pretty good. Oh my god. Uh, we'll just go with this for now. There you go. Come by again when you're hungry. Okay, so we should have a chicken breast and a tomato sandwich. Exactly what we need. We should have a single side quest here. Supreme Fruit Wine by Ada. Thinking about making wine out of fruit again this year. If you're interested in helping out, I'll be at the workshop. Awesome. So we have a single... <laughs> we have a single side quest to get, but there also are hidden quests in this game too, which is primarily the reason why I use guides for a lot of these things because, let's be real, you can't trust anything! Um... Guavs! What's up, dude? Hanging out. How about you, dude? I was just talking about side quests, so we're about to do one, and then there's a hitting side quest, which is primarily the reason why I'd use guides for trails, because one for pacing, but also they love their hidden side quests, so we get to make sure we get them all. But we're just chilling today. So if we go up top here, had a good day at work, a nice run, now I'm continuing to check out Monster Hunter World for the Steam Deck. Oh, is that so? Very nice, very nice. Hey, Guavs, doesn't this guy look like the protagonist from Yik? <laughs> right? I'm just saying, except here's the thing. He's not a prick in this game. I hope. I'm saying that now. He looks like he's vibrating with motion. Oh, no. How dare you bring that up again? <laughs> <laughs> you brought up does he make fun of a dude's dead sister you know not yet we've just met him and he's a doctor so surely surely in this game he's not a total asshole right surely not right that's the hope does he yell oh my god all the time no again no Actually, I kind of want him to now. Like, could you imagine a doctor doing that like every five seconds though? Oh my god! What? You're better! Alright, I've got some- t I've got to put today's schedule together. But I can't really make the patients wait too long. That would be a terrifying doctor to hire. He'd be so excited. He'd be like, yo, what's good? Oh my god! Doctor character with glasses. No blue hair, though. That's probably a good thing. Is something wrong, Dr. Heidel? Oh, hello, Nayuda. No, I'm just working out my schedule. And I still have some medical records to sort through, but I can't keep my patients waiting. It's been so hectic lately. I should have been more prepared. <laughs> you seem quite busy. Rio! Guess whose power just came back on? Oh, bro, what the heck? Are you having a storm over there? Well, I'm glad your power's back, and hello. Welcome on in. There's nobody else that provides medicine on the island, so we're grateful. It's a little embarrassing to hear you say so but to my face. <laughs> Oops, I'm in a rush. I've got more to do after my rounds. I I've got to finish before nightfall. I'll be around for a while, so feel free to come by if you need anything, Nayuda. Hmm, he seems especially busy today. No, the thing is, is I have no idea why, but I've been without power since four. What the heck? That's so weird. And annoying. I should do my part as a handyman. 
If you don't mind, Dr. Heidel, I'd love to help. Of course, only if that's something I can do. Really? That'd be great. <laughs> You're as reliable as ever. Can I take you upon that offer right now? Of course. <laughs> oh my god. Gloves, you goon. You've grown so much, Nayuda. We're lucky the handymen are back in business. I'm getting off topic again. Basically, I need help reaching out to the people who need a checkup. Reach out? It's nothing difficult. There are only a few people I need to check on since their last examination. Could you ask them to come here later? Sure, that's easy. Alright, I'm counting on you then. There are only a few patients. Please speak with Janice at the Chief's house, Carnia the Fisher, and the farmer's son, Booty. Yo, we get to talk to King Booty! We get to talk to King Booty! Then come and report back to me. Sounds good. I'm off then. Yo, is Booty staring at a wall again? I swear to God. <laughs> Dude, this freaking guy. Let Booty. Booty! Oh my god, dude. He, I think Booty better have a dump truck ass. Yo, you want... Hang on, is he staring at the wall? Where is he? I think he's over here. Hold on. I don't think you got to see King Booty. No! He's moved! Where have you gone? Where have you gone, my child? Where are you? Dang. Oh, this is a fisherman's house. Oh, you have the child with you?! Dude, I can't with this. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone is saying. I don't care if it's lighting. This child has a bald spot on her hair and she is carrying a child. This is the greatest game ever made to man. I can't, I can't tell it you now. <laughs> Inside the house, I give it to you all. Oh, the, you know, the lighting from the window, blah, blah, blah. No, she's in broad daylight. Boo -boo. That's right. It's a ruin. That That is a human. Hey, Amona! Hi, Noma. I'm sorry, I've never been able to pronounce your name right, dude. Oh my god. What's up? How's it going? Isn't that a boner hair? No, it's like... Anam Alo Keras. Anama. Anama. It looks different. It looks like she's a bald spot. It's a headband, I keep telling you. It, but I know, I know, but it, you can't. Listen. Turn this way. It is a headband. I agree with that. But you can't deny that when she turns a specific way, it looks like she's bald. We did the finding quest. We did, actually. We already had it, and it is a headband. It's confirmed it's a headband, but still, whatever. Look, like, look! You can't tell me otherwise. Oh my god, hold on. My mission right now is to find this boy, King Booty. Where is he? Is this a quest? Fine booty? Yes. Looking at that reminds me of those Japanese crackers that look like mushrooms with the chocolate tips. Oh yeah, the choco mushrooms. The choco shrooms or whatever the heck they're called. Let me know if you want to know where. Oh, I have the guide. Let's appreciate it. Yo, lady, where's your child? What is it, Naida? Is Booty home yet? No, he's still out and about. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Do you need something? Well, actually... Ah, I see. I'll let you know when he gets back, so why not take care of the others first? Alright, I'll do that. It's 
Sasha might know something? Alrighty. What can I do for you? Playing in the ruins is fine, but be careful I get hurt. Yeah, yeah. You lied. What? You do have to find the others first. Dang. <clears throat> okay, then in that case, we need to go this way first. God dang. What is it, Naida? Naida told her that Dr. Heidel wanted to come wanted her to come in for a checkup. Oh, the doctor's here? Thanks for letting me know. He did say he wanted to check in on my progress after I had, after I had Kali. Progress? You mean Dr. He Heidel handled the birth? Yes, he did. He gave me a lot of advice when I was pregnant, too. While doing the test, we discovered I was going to have a difficult delivery. So Dr. Heidel called a larger clinic to make sure we were fully prepared. It was thanks to him delivering Kali. It wasn't so bad. Wow, I didn't know. Janice, who was going to be the midwife, seemed a little disappointed, though. Anyway, that's why I've been seeing him still, even after Kali's birth. The doctor really is amazing. Can you please let him know? I'll be there later. Will do! And then we gotta go find Mrs. Janice. Who's in the mayor's house? Question for you, Golden. Sword and shield, dual blades, or long sword? Um... Honestly, probably longsword. I think you'll enjoy that playstyle a bit more. Sword and shield's pretty fun, but it's kind of like your standard playstyle. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Dual blades, from what I remember, can get a little technical, but, you know, they're, de they're definitely fast and adept and stuff like that. Faster, at least. But I think you'll enjoy longsword the most. From my very limited knowledge of Monster Hunter stuff. Remember when I played Monster Hunter Rise, the demo? That was fun. In hindsight, sometimes I wish if there was a series I kept up with, it was Monster Hunter. Like, it seems it is a lot of fun to play, but there's just a lot that goes into it sometimes, and you do definitely need to be playing multiplayer for that one. I tried out Greatsword, and that's a bit too technical for my Unga Bunga mindset. Yeah, I think Longsword will be pretty good for you. What did I play? I'm trying to think, what did I used to play back then? I was a ranged character back on the PSP Monster Hunter. The bow gun or whatever it was called. And then when Rise came out, I tried a little bit of everything from the demo. We should try doing a couple of raids one of these days. Eh, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not entirely opposed to it, honestly. I'd have to pick up the game again, though. But, uh, I'm not opposed. Not opposed to that, actually. I think you would be fun to play Monster Hunter with, that's for sure. Oh, Nayuta, what can I do for you? Nayuta, blah, blah, blah. Is that so? Thank you for letting me know. Is something wrong with your health, Auntie? Is it required to play multiplayer Monster Hunter? Not really, but... Progress and general monster hunting goes by a lot better slash faster if you have people. You can solo a ton, um, especially in the older Monster Hunter games. <clears throat> but I think, well, I actually might my lie. Maybe in the newer games it's easier to solo. It's not actually the older games. I don't think it was very. You, you it would be harder actually. Um, no, you can solo a ton, but. The Monster Hunter benefits a ton with the multiplayer experience. No, I'm in perfect health. This is between you and me, but I'm actually doing this for my father. For the village chief? My father needs regular medication for his chronic pain. But he's worried about how he looks and doesn't want people to see him going. That's why, unless he really needs the doctor, I pick his medicine for him. I see. You've sure got a lot on your plate, Auntie. <laughs> I'm used to it, though. Anyway, thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure I stop by later. That just leaves Booty. And that cat that's walking in place. He should be back home by now. Let's go and see. 
You can. S I wish I could play multiplayer games. I uh, I feel you, dude. It's tricky. Cow. But the game is built for co-op and yeah, exactly. I did plenty fine solo on the PSP version back then as a kid. It was hard. It was way harder than if I had people, but I soloed a handful of, of, of raids. Oh, Naida. Booty's not back yet. I see. Man. Now that you mention it, he sure is late. Maybe that boy's hiding? Hiding? Why would he do that? Booty had a cold the last time Dr. Heidel stopped by. He got some real bitter medicine and hasn't really gotten over it since. It's his fault for sleeping belly out first in the, pl in the, in the first place. He must be out there thinking he's going to get that medicine again. Uh, I see. Do you have any idea where he might have run off to? Hmm, Sasha from the general store might know, actually. Booty heads her all the time to see that fancy star fragment. There's a good chance he, r he ran to Sasha for help. I'll try looking for him there, then. Thanks, Auntie Kenny. The hunt for the booty continues. What's wrong, Naida? Actually, do you happen to know where Booty is? Huh? Booty? Afraid not. Huh? But according to Auntie Kenny, he should be here. Is there something else you wanted to ask me? Um, you really don't know where Booty is, right? <laughs> I already told you. I'm sorry, but I just don't know. She answered that awfully quick. Sasha, you really, really don't know where Booty is, right? Does Monster have any kind of in-game matchmaking system for finding people to play with? Yeah, it does. You can just go for public queues or you can like, you know, queue up with friends and stuff like that. A lot of the, um, if you're cool with them, um, Rowan and Avi and them, uh, play a lot of Monster Hunter. So maybe you could ask them, Anoma. <clears throat> I'm sure they could help teach you the ropes. Come on, stop being so skeptical. I don't like persistent boys. Uh. La la la. Shoo shoo. She, she's really suspicious. I don't like asking people to play games because most don't want to. Fair enough. But they do, they do, um, they have played it a lot. I know. So they're definitely way more expert than I could ever be. Sasha? Yeah? Dr. Heidel asked me to look for Booty. He needs to go to his checkup. What? A checkup? Not hide and seek? Booty, you told me it was hide and seek. Hey! You're not allowed to say that! Oops. So he was hiding under the counter. You ready, Guaz? There's the man. Man, you found me. Sorry, Naida. He asked me to help him play hide and seek. Come on, Booty. You shouldn't lie to me. Checkups are important, so make sure you see Dr. Heidel, okay? Sorry. <laughs> I think Sasha might have enjoyed hide and seek a little too much. Fine. I just have to see Dr. Heidel right later, right? I don't wanna. He's gonna make me take that bitter medicine again. I don't think so. He just wants to check on your progress. Just a regular old checkup. Really? Lucky you, Booty. Really, really? You promise? Because if you're lying, I'll never forgive you. Okay, okay, jeez. Alright, I think that's everyone. Time to report back to Dr. Heidel. What's this game about? So, it's a spin-off of the Legend of Heroes Trails series, um, essentially. Um, and so the point of this game, right now at least, is as Nayuda, we have entered this land known as Terra, and the four Master Gears have been stolen from our uh, companion Noi, and our goal is to get them back so that order can be restored in Terra. Um, and also understand you know, why bad guy in other world wants to destroy said world slash take over it, um, and stuff like that. Your typical JRPG fair, in that regard, at least. Um, so we're playing as Naida Herschel, who is an astute scholar who has been thrust into this task of working with Noi to find the, uh, the four Master Gears and stuff like that. Um, and so right now we're just in our hometown doing a bunch of side questing and stuff like that before we head back in and, uh, continue the main plot. 
I don't... Rio, if I missed anything, feel free to fill in the, uh, the blanks. <laughs> Thanks, Nayuda. You've been a great help. It's not much, but would you accept this? Gameplay is, um, akin to the East, uh, franchise, if you know about that one. Um, Anama. But the writing is, like, uh, trails. It's all Falcom, so, I mean, one and the same at the end of the day. An acquaintance gave it to me, saying it was excavated from a ruin site. Oh, you played East 1 too? Let's go. Wow, this sure is an interesting model. Are you sure I can take it? Of course. It's just a small token of my appreciation. Feel free to do what you want with it. I didn't catch... I can try, unfortunately. I was checking election results. I didn't catch all of your explanation. Ah, yes, that is today. Don't worry about it. God, those are iconic. Dude, East 1 2. So fun. I'm glad they never did bump combat again, but for what it's worth, it, they were fun games. <sighs> Thank you. By the way, Naida, it's been a while since you returned to the island. How are things back home? I see you and your sister still get along well. Yeah, I'm surprised at how little has changed. Our sheep are doing well, and Eartha is working hard. I almost can't believe I was gone for four months. Hmm, I see. Well, anyway, thank you for helping me with my work. If you're ever feeling unwell, be sure to come and see me. I'll examine you right away. Sounds good. Thanks, Dr. Heidel. Nice. E65 will be at, all at, at an advanced age with bump combat and use a cane sword. I honestly would not be mad if that happened. <laughs> Let's do it. That implies that Falcom will give a care about East by then. I feel like we're not going to have a, like, a care about East until Trails is actually done in 2035. Oh my god, he wasn't kidding. Thanks, hon. He wasn't kidding. Okay, has the other door opened? Open, please, I wanna see my turtle. I guess theoretically I could pick up the sword. If I really wanted to, I could pick up the sword. Come on in. It's a 45 plus, dang, it's crazy. You must suffer and wait for your turtle reunion. Dang, dude. I can't believe this. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do it. See you next time. That is a 45 plus increase. I'll, I'll take that. Okay, hold on. Let me see what this looks like over here. No! Hush! Lupus! Yep, sounds about right. Still one damage, really? Ooh! What a gamer! Oh, what a gamer! This guy's crazy! It is always one damage, indeed. All right, let me activate Ada's side quest too. Oh my god, your portrait is amazing. What's up, Naida? Welcome. Hey, uh, hi, Ada. Ada. So for your request, you wanted to make wine or something? Yep. I always start fermenting fruit around this time of year. I thought maybe you could help me this time around. What do you think? Sure. Can you tell me more about the job? Of course. Basically, I just need some fruit I can use to make wine. Fruit, huh? I'm not familiar with the process, but they use things like plums and apples and apricots, right? Well, those are the popular choices, I guess. But you soak fruits like that in sugar and brandy and let them sit for 6 to 12 months. 
and that's all it takes to make some delicious fruit wine. Okay. But I don't want just any fruit this time. I want you to find me something I've never made into wine before. And it's got to be delicious, too. I see. You know, I've got to try something different every once in a while. I feel like you know a lot about plants and stuff, and I've been all over, so maybe you have some ideas? What do you think? Want to give it a try? Sure. I'm not an expert on wine, but I'll give it my best. A rare fruit, huh? I don't have any ideas yet. But someone at the tavern and in might. I'll start by collecting information. Okay. To the end we go. Before I go though, I do want to mention a few minor updates. So yeah, so streaming in general, I posted my schedule today because I remembered, but it's gonna be kind of on and off for a little bit um, until Thanksgiving week. So this week, um, no total Thursday, but on Friday at 6 p.m. I will be collaborating with Peanutters, Nem, Meilin Chen, and Yahika VTutor. We'll be playing some 100% orange juice, which will be a riveting time, I am sure. And on Sunday at noon EST, I'll be collaborating with Junipris, or Juniper as you all know her as, and we'll be playing a game called Pode, um, a puzzle, a cute puzzle platformer-esque thing. Um, so that'll be fun, so definitely stop on by for those. Um, in general, weekend streams will not be there, so there'll be no Trails into Reverie this weekend. Um, however, the videos on Monday and Wednesday will still go up as advertised. And then we'll see where we are next week for streams. Um, I don't think there will be any. I will, tr um, including Tuesday. Um, I don't think we'll be doing those because I will be out of town. So it'll be the week of Thanksgiving that I come back for general streams and stuff like that. However, I'll try and post um, a couple of videos here and there for Tiny Tina's as well. And maybe there'll be other collaborations and other minor streams that I can hop into as well and stuff like that. Um, still always available on Twitter and Discord, though, if you want to, uh, you know, talk to me and stuff like that. I am still around, but um, yeah, that's kind of just where things are right now. And I have a couple of other things that I can't really talk about, but I am working on the background. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> those are my uh, those are my updates. Hello, Naida. What can I help you with? You're a minor character. I don't need a special voice for you, I guess. Well, you see... Naida explained how he's looking for a fruit to make wine with. Something you can put in alcohol, huh? I have an idea, and I've got even- I've even got something with me right now. Really? Yes, I bought it on a recent voyage. It's called a Sentry Peach, and it is quite rare. It only grows on an uninhabited island in the northern part of the Sea of Ciencia. It's very sweet, and is said to bring eternal youth and longevity. If you pickle it, I'm sure you can make a very delicious fruit wine. Wow, that sounds perfect! Unfortunately, they're out of season. I was only able to buy some saplings. Growing trees isn't exactly my specialty, so if you like, I can share one with you, Naida. There is farming in this game. Gosh diggity darn it. Thank you so much. The sapling should be planted in the spring and bear fruit during the summer seasons. If you're interested, why not try growing one? I don't think Ada is going to want to wait for a sapling to grow. Wait a minute. We can control the climate and seasons in Terra. We might be able to grow this sapling right away. Let's find a suitable place to grow the sapling in the land of Verd Verdant Groves during the springtime. That's cool. That should be it for everything here in Remnant Isles, so we can actually go back into Terra and continue our journey. Still doing some side quests and just general stuff, um, but we can do stuff. squad -a Here we go! Did everyone have a good week that I was off from, from not streaming? Did you guys miss the golden experience? Summer has been unlocked for Altopia, the land of Verdant Groves. The Astral Lobe has regained power. You can use it to control seasons of continents that have been fitted with their corresponding master gear. What's up? What's up?
Man, King Booty really changed my perspective on life. <laughs> oh, yes. Rio um, used one of the new ones. I have two new sound alerts. Oh, they're titled wrong. I gotta fix that. They're supposed to be the actual things, but um, essentially you can now say what's up or yeah, hello to me. I now have greetings, so I have finally done it. Squadilla, we are off. Alright, fine. Ah, I was misled by the title. I gotta fix that. Although the redeem should still be... Wait, what does the redeem say? The redeem should still be... What's up, right? No, actually it's not. Oh, I thought I changed that. Hmm. Okay, I'll fix that later. <laughs> I will fix that later. I guess it didn't save. That is easy to fix. But I take it you guys missed me so, so much because of, uh... The, uh... Oh, we have to do these again? Oh, yeah, ma. Sunshade, Sunshade, uh, okay, Sunshade, Sunshade Trail. Oh my god, yes. Yes, yeah, so you guys miss me so much. You want to use every single sound alert that I have, don't you? Don't y'all? You guys care so much. Brings a tear to my eye. Fine. Dude, I love the way he swings his greatsword. It's so freaking funny. to eat a croissant. croissant so I went to a place that sells croissant, croissant. and I bought a croissant. croissant and I returned home with the croissant, croissant. and then I ate the croissant. croissant I still need to think of another like very high point reward not like call liquid. I need more. I need something very high that I can do. I know I need to add the one that Shaky recommended, which was the custom accent one for 10,000. Or something. God dang it! Sing a chorus? We're not singing. <laughs> Way to go. If you want me to sing, you have to get me to 300 followers. That's the deal. We're at 269 right now. Although someone got mad, apparently, because I was at 270 before I left. Someone was like, God, this golden guy doesn't even stream? SMH, I'm out of here. The deal's the deal. If I get 270, I'll give you not one, but two song covers on YouTube. Which I should probably pick the song for. Soil seems to be pretty good quality. Maybe we can grow the century peach here. What's up, Naida? You think I could try planting a sapling here? 
Sure, I don't think it'll be a problem. But what's the point? You'll see. Let's come back after changing the season of this con into summer. He wants us to go in Sacred Way Summer. Sunshine... Sunshine... Tr Sunshade Trail on that... Okay, I see. Oh, the music changed. The views changed completely. I can't believe we're in the same place as before. The sun is beaming and the forest is lush with life. That's the power of the astrolobe! The terrain should have changed too, so we'll have to be careful. Right. What's the objectives for this one? Uh, clear in under three minutes, that's not gonna happen. This one I can play on clarinet too, great song. Yo, let's go! Three crystals in the chest? Okay, so we'll probably do it twice. Uh, we'll get the crystals in the chest first off, and then we'll come back and do the, uh, the clear in three minutes. Oh my god, a freaking baseball whip this dude. Buying the sword was a great decision. Oh my god, Nayuda's a freaking beast. We got the muck. I see. Do, 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 do. That looks like progress, so we'll just go this way. I almost didn't do this stream today, but then I was like, no, I really want to play Nayuda. <laughs> Also, the title theme is a remix of this. Really? Oh, what in the world? Probably isn't right. And if you fail, you can't try again until you restart the level. Great. So we'll do that on round two, I guess. Oh, come why? Why are we like this? Oh, great. Wish there was a reset button for those. I wish to. But oh well, that's fine. We're just hanging. Whammo! I'm surprised I haven't found a hello. I guess we can't get to that one yet. Man, they really kicked off on the puzzle aspect here. They really upped the puzzle uh, part of this level. 
Dude, how many levels does this thing have? 45, wow. This level is kind of brutal. Yeah, they really just kicked it up, didn't they? Darn you. Darn you. <clears throat> Am I gonna get any crystals this time? Wow, really? Spell is maxed out level 5. Oh, great. Sweet, so we're almost there actually, too. Oh my god, Naida, let's go. Got him. That's a third crystal, too. So the first crystal is probably from the block puzzle, it seems. The second one we can't get out just yet. That is cool. That's cool, I guess. Oh, it's one of these things. We can't actually do stuff with it. Actually, still, can we? Lame. Dude, I have to Oh, that's what the chest is! Dude, I've accomplished, like, nothing this level. Holy jeez. So where Geo's in prison is now open. The cage that Zex guy built is pretty sophisticated. I can't believe he would make something like this. Geo, are you okay? We're here to rescue you. Ah, Noi and the human child. I've been waiting for you. Thanks to you for re restoring the climate to its original state. The ward's really gotten weaker. Can I ask you for one more favor, lad? Could you break these stones? Stones? Seems to me those stones are the ones doing the warding. I can't do much of any old thing from in here, so I could really use your help from this from your side. I think they absorb magic. Can I count on you for this, Naina? Of course. Etcha! That'll do it. Now if you would please step back, I destroyed two of them. Oh, Whoa! You look cool. Uh, at last, I can breathe some fresh air. Oh my God! I wasn't too far off with this voice too. That was a complete guess. Being in there did a real number on my back. So glad you're El Geo. So you're Geo. Oh. Whoops. Indeed, I am Lichness Geo, the administrator of Altapea. Lichness. You must be the human child. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me from that cage. Oh, I had thought there were two children of Earth. Well, so about that, we kind of, uh... Where did the other one go? Well... If you don't mind, I'd like to know what I've missed. I see. So he went off on his own, did he? Have you seen Cygna since then, Gio? No such luck. But if I had to guess, the Astrolobe will probably tell you he's in Reeseweld. By the way, Noi, the man who imprisoned me, the one who called Zext. Do you think he could be the same person as Sir Zext? Well... Sir Zext? What do you mean? 
There was another Zex long ago when I wasn't so old. And he was the leader of the ones who created, recreated Terra, the people of Mythos. Though I heard he had passed away back then. Mythos? Wasn't that Kriha's group? Why didn't you tell me, Noi? Because it can't be true! Lady Kriha, Kriha did tell me about Sir Zex a long time ago. But there's no way the guy who put Terra in danger is the real him. I didn't want you to think him and Lady Kriha were even remotely alike. I see. It seems to me a direct approach is our best bet in finding out just who this fellow really is. By the way, his power is the real deal. You might find it a little too tough to try and face him as you are now. Guess I've got no choice. I'll entrust you with my power. Power? Come on over, Noe. Octone. Gearbusters is a skill that unleashes a powerful attack to break hard objects. Oh, what is this power? I can feel it overflowing. Well, we administrators were given various powers when Lady Graha and the others put us together. All to prepare for what was to come. On account of Terra being in danger and all, I suppose the time is now. Please, could you please put it to good use. Thank you, Geo. And you, lad. Nayuda, was it? It was no coincidence that brought you here to Terra. I don't reckon it'll be an easy road, but still, I have to ask that you do what you can to help Noi. I will. Oh, oh, I love that expression. As for me, I'll be at the temple where I belong. If you need a hand, don't be afraid to give old Geo a visit. I'll look forward to seeing you both the time comes. I love Geo. His design is so cool. Well, I guess Geo's fine now. Shall we continue on the Reeswald? Yeah, we have to find Cigna and Zext. I know, I just know this power Geo gave me will come in handy. Activate the gear buster by pressing and holding the circle button. Powerful swing attack, no, by attack, no, yourself. Continue pressing circle to use it consecutively, which is effective against tough enemies that normally, normal attacks won't destroy against. Oh. Use gear, uh, using gear crafts consume the craft gauge. The craft gauge recovers over time, but when depleted, you will have to wait for it to fill up, and Noi will become dizzy. So if I run all the way back here... Oh, you have to really be right, right there. Cursed armor. Fire Noi. Hold on. It's not an actual piece of armor. Got it. Level up. Alrighty. We got, like, nothing done. We can do better than that. You know, we'll try. I do have another move I can learn from uh, old Orbis, though. Now that is nice. Which I will go learn. I always want more for my combat encounters. Other oh, side quest and thanks to. <laughs> Downward thrust. Press while circle while falling after a two step jump to activate his high damage technique. Can inflict heavy damage against enemies in range. Finally. I've been wanting this move actually. Be sure to keep up with your trainer. Here go. Here go. Did they really go through the whole thing? Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense.
Well, I mean, I kind of want to try that block puzzle again. Now that I actually know what I'm doing. Am I? Wait. Good game. Hold. Wait, hold. 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 We're not we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. Hold. Hold. I need to go one more first. There we go. Now I can do that. God dang it. can't do anything with that other thing yet, so I have to come back for that crystal, don't I? Yahiko! My bro! I have missed you! Night is great. I'm really enjoying this game so much. Dude, it basically plays like E6 and 7. It basically is E6 and 7. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's really fun. How are you doing, my friend? We gotta catch up. Ah, oh, thank you for following, D Dark. Appreciate it. I love when my predictions are true about your feelings of particular games. Am I that easy to read? Alright, build a chain greater than 30. I might need the other sword for this if I want to do that. Which sucks, but it'll be easier. When's the stream with Juniper? It's at Sunday at noon. Sunday at noon. Um, both of us will be streaming, both her and I. Um, but we will have a multi-stream link where you guys can check out both perspectives and be able to hop between both chats as well. Um, so both of us will be streaming, so you can check out her channel or my channel, which honestly, however you prefer. I wish the game was more zoomed out. Yeah, that would be nice, actually. I feel like with the port, they could have definitely done a little bit of zooming out if they wanted to. But PSP game, what can you do? PSP Falcom game. This level seems significantly easier than the other one, but admittedly, it is the first level of the summer area, as opposed to the the third level. So, uh, kind of comes with the territory, I bet, of, you know, being on the easier side of things. Oh my. I see you, you weird enemy placement. What the heck are you doing? This game is probably the best looking PSP game I've ever seen, though. I will say that.
It is beautiful. How dare you not trust in... I would say your Falcon preferences are... Oh, you're... Okay, I see. I thought you were going to have something after that, Rio, as a sentence, but... Never mind. Yeah, my Falcon... My general preferences, I think, are very... Once you figure them out... It's, uh... It's pretty easy. Do they give you grid filters? Not really. I freaking batting these dudes away is the best thing in this game so far. I love the grid filter on PSP. It would be nice if they hadn't had it in there, but... An anklet. Is that something I can- is that something you can wear? Paralysis resistance and paralysis enhancement. Oh, dude, yes! I'm not gonna say no to you. Apparently you can actually beat those fly enemies, but honestly, no, no harm, no foul if I don't kill them, honestly. My, oh my. Yeah, it's like super short of a time window, isn't it? Give me my fruit. I don't know what I got, but I got something. I guess I should probably talk about where I was for the one week that I wasn't here streaming. <laughs> probably would be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> but um, I was here, actually, I was vacationing, but uh, Liquid Guavs and Liquid Wife came to visit me and we kind of just hung out around town. Had a blast of a weekend in time. Um, had a lot of good food. Had a lot of parties. Um, and stuff like that. We did the Halloween thing and everything. We even dressed up as a group costume and everything like that. So that's, that's where I was for, for a while. And it was a absolute blast. Um, and now my family's here, which is why also I'm basically taking a break from streaming because I can spend time with them. Um, ish. <laughs> so that's why part of part of why old Goldie has been busy for a little bit. Look at all those yummy looking fruits. Just as I thought. Did you plant the sapling in the spring to make these fruits? Yes. Sure done did. Yeah, I thought I could use the astrolobe uh, to help stimulate the plant growth. Wow, you're using the astrolobe so well. Why, thank you. Not bad for a human. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be used, though. Alright, let's hurry and take these fruits to Ada. We shall done do it. Uh, did I get all three crystals? I sure did. Nice. We finished all three missions of this one, too. Good, good, good. What are we looking at for time? Oh, we still got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. I will take care of this level first, and then I will, um, go turn into side quest. Do not take damage more than 10 times. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, okay. I basically have to play this game like a Soulsborne. I have a big sword that moves slow. I have the ability to dodge roll. I literally just go in, swing and a miss, and out. That's essentially how this is going to go. Thankfully, I have a big sword that hits things, and it does a lot of damage. And I can paralyze! This is great! 
Oh my god, we're gonna do amazing! Not against that little schmuck, though. I hate you. I hate you so much as an enemy type. <coughs> Pardon me. That's getting me all worked up. What? Here I go. They got me through a cage. Exactly. That's how we do it. Dun, 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 dun. God darn you! Okay, that works, I guess. That works. Nice. Very good. Let's go. We keep this going. Alright, hold on. We got a... I want to look at a couple of things before we go crazy here. Dun, dun, dun. Problem is I can't take too much damage here. I can only take nine more hits. So I gotta be careful. Whoa! Please, please, please. Thank you. Oh my god! We got Cyclone. Oh, yes, baby. Give me that. Don't equip it. We need her other arts right now. Okay. I'm just like playing this so carefully, trying not to get hit. Oh, you're just being mean now. You're just being mean. You know. You know what you're doing, and you're evil. You know exactly what you're doing. In here, I find me a fruitful soil. Oh, I need that for something. I do need that for something. I am glad that this greatsword basically knocks this dude down, essentially. I see a thingy over there. Okay, so which area do you think is better? This area or the beanstalk area from Wonderlands? Probably this one. Let's be real. I mean, the beanstalk area was probably the best area in Wonderlands still to this day. Honestly, just like of the games thus far because it just felt like the most unique level in terms of design and everything like that It has some really cool quests and everything for sure um, But I love its verticality of it. I love the silliness of it. I liked um, Accidentally killing the sheep 
uh, that that was definitely quite the uh, the funny thing. Ah, uh, what else? Yeah, I think just in general, uh, the Beanstalk area was the best area of Wonderland so far. I don't know, what about you guys? From a visual perspective, what do you think is better? This area or uh, the Beanstalk area? God damn you. Oh, thank Jesus. Clear stage ten times. Nice. If I look over here, I think one of these, yeah, has a thing that I can go get. I want to quickly go back and grab a thing. Obtain more than 50 crystal stones. I've already done that. I said I go grab the chest, which is near the end. Right? It's just pretty, man. This game is just pretty. It's got everything you need. And I quite like it. I know this one's near the end, too. I know you're near the end, so... Oh crap, wait, what? Wait, where did I look? Fragment C blue. Oh, nice. We can take a look at that when we go back to town as well. Ow. Why is everyone being mean to me? I freaking love this stage clear theme. It's so good. good Alright, so that's three stars. That's three stars. That's three stars. That's three stars, that's three stars, that's not three stars. Why? Oh, because I didn't get the other crystal. Eey, that's fine. To Remnant Isle we go! I got another thing of stars, so I can go talk to Master Orbis for things. Got knowledge of one-handed swords. You can now hit up to five. Oh, there's combo additionals or combo uh, extenders. That's nice. Very nice. Be sure to keep up with your training. He thought getting S rank on all levels in Tokyo Zandu was a pain. Welcome to getting three stars on every level, and now you're dead, dude. Not, freaking, I love Zandu, but like. Oh my god, get S ranking all of those stages was a nightmare. Because you had to really like figure out how to properly- You had to really optimize for a few things, but let's be real. You just take Sora, you strength and speed her the absolute living shit up, and you speed run every single level, and optimally crash Bandicoot break every single box in sight, you're getting an S rank for 90% of the stages when you go back to them. It's crazy. Oh my god, I didn't even do some of the last ones, because it was just like, I am not running through all of these um, dungeons, like the last few dungeons, basically, to 
Thanks, hon. I got glasses. Can I wear them? You can wear them. Cute. Int increases at low health. Yeah, I don't need that. Is there seriously not? Why? I really like this. Ooh, we can definitely get a new accessory for Noi. Yo, it's the booty! Freaking King Booty, bro. Uh, they recommend this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I will. Head on over to the inn and give him the soil. And now we can buy more produce from the general store. Awesome! While I'm over here, I will give Ada her... ...stuff. Come on in. Uh, do I need the Legion Knife, honestly? I don't know, maybe I might pick it up, but I don't really need it, honestly. I have a lot of money now, so I think I will pick up the bronze plate for more defense, because why not? Hey, Naida, any luck on the fruit? Yep, I got it right here. Is this a peach? I don't think I've ever seen this kind before. It's a rare peach that only grows on a, de on a, desert, I on a desert island. They say it gives you eternal youth and longevity in addition to being delicious. There was a peach like that. Not a pretty cool fruit, Nayuda. <laughs> That's good to hear. Mission complete? Oh yeah, I'm real satisfied. Here, this is for you. Cool. Thanks. Now let's get right to it. I'll try making wine out of this peach. I'll share it when it's ready, so look forward to it. Uh, I'm still a miner. Eartha might be able to use it for cooking, though. It'll be about a year until it's ready to drink. Oh, I can't wait! I don't think she's listening, but at least she's happy. It is like, I don't care how old you are, we are drinking together, or we're going to drink under the sun. I have not saved this entire stream. What is wrong with me? Does the dog have anything? An owl, an angelfish, a rhinoceros beetle, a puffer fish, a rhino- Oh my good- Oh my god, you found another turtle! Can you do- I'll be waiting for the back of the temple on Altapia. What? The heck? Uh, we can take a look at Sea Blue. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that is indeed pretty. Alrighty. Um, let me see here. Let me look at him. I guess we can go uh, talk to Geo.
tails ass village, legit. Like, look at how pretty this background is. It's just beautiful. It's just, it's stylish. It's got charm. It's got color. Oh my god, it's got color in a Falcom game. Crazy. We used to do that. We used to do that. I love East Side, but we used to do color. Aha! I've been waiting for you, uh, waiting your return, now you done, Noi. Have you come about my request? Yes, though I was honestly kind of surprised. I didn't expect to find a letter from you in our mailbox. Wait, you sent a letter to Nayuda's house? Oh, indeed. I have been looking for a place closely related to Nayuda. It was easy for someone like me to sneak a letter into his home with some teleportation. Hope it didn't scare you too much. No, it's fine. So what was your request? Then let me get right into it. Did you have other plans? I'm not trying to force anything onto you, lad. Back in my day, Falcom games had colors. It's not like they haven't forgotten it, I will say. If you look at Trails, they still definitely have it. It's just for some reason with East, they're just like, hey, you know what? We're just going to pretend we didn't render environments for some reason. Or we're going to make a game specifically for Switch. Unoptimize it. And then release it on PS5. Big Brain. Sasuga Falcom. Big Brain. Oh, oh, I owe you one. See, I've been intrigued by your world ever since we met. Won't you help me to broaden my horizons? You mean to the human world? We administrators have always thought of humans as <clears throat> having little wisdom. He's not wrong, though. I didn't have much of an interest in you myself. But watching you guys, I got to wondering, how did Noi, who despises humans, come to trust you, Nayuda? I do not. <coughs> I mean, sure, maybe I've been thinking humans aren't as bad as I thought. Oh, I'm sure you're right. And I want to find out for myself. I think I understand. But what do you want me to do? Don't tell me you want to come to our world. It hasn't been that long since Zex took over the old temple. He would be, wouldn't be come, becoming of a, as an administrative Altapia to abandon my duties. So I want you to bring me some of your hometown specialties instead. Specialties? You mean like food? I see. By examining the food of our island, you can learn a lot about our culture and lives. Oh, that's it, exactly. A local dish or a native fruit is fine. Anything will work. I'll leave it up to you. Collect three and bring them to me. That's pretty vague. Geo tends to be like that. What's wrong, lad? Got fluff in your ears. No, I heard you. I just have to find three of Remnant Isle's specialties, right? Yes. Thank you for the help, Jowl Chap. I can't just fly about there, so... Good luck, Naida. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> Look at Naida with the chest plate. I don't think I've ever thought of what Remnant Isle's specialties are. I guess I could ask the village chief about it first. I am going to listen to the ever-living heck out of this soundtrack over and over and over again because Saki Momiyama's piano is to die for. Mm, that's so good. Are you looking for something, Nayuta? Actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. What do you think is a specialty of our island? Well, that's unexpected. Well, are you working on a summer assignment? Uh, something like that. I can't exactly tell him someone asked me from another world. I see. Well, good for you for being so studious. The first thing that comes to mind, I guess, would be dried seafood. Dried seafood, huh? It's true. I have seen it being made around the village. Nowadays, Remnant Isle is mostly self-sufficient when it comes to fishing and farming. But in the past, fishing was especially important due to the sea's abundance. In those days, people started mixing dried fish so that large hauls wouldn't go to waste. Interesting. I didn't know that. 
Ash, you know what? How about I share some dried fish with you? I've always got some in my pantry for a snack. Here you go. You gave me a squid. Wow, thank you so much. Are there any other Remnant Isle specialties? Mmm, of course. There's the ruins rock salt crystals like we found on our beaches. They're a natural product when seawater evaporates in the nearby ruins. You might be able to search, uh, find one if you search the seaside ruins patiently. I see, I'll give it a try. And there's another local dish that's been around for a long time. I've forgotten the name of it though. I think it was a specialty of someone in this village. Not the cook, Gruz, or your sister Arthur though. I think it was someone who doesn't usually cook. I'm here to ask around about this one. Mmm, gosh. I think that's all I can help you with. Make sure you work hard and do well on your assignment. <laughs> sure, I will. Ruins, rock, salt, and some local dish, huh? Let's see what we can find. I always loved it as a snack when I was in elementary school. The other kids hated the smell, though. Best of only thing with fish, right, is the smell is something that not a lot of people like. I do wonder what the, uh... The taste of that sort of stuff is like, because I can't actually have seafood, so. I don't mean to be rude, but Uncle Columba doesn't seem the type to cook. Could the one who's good at cooking local food be... What is it, Naida? Did you want to talk to me? Uh, there's something I want to ask you. Do you know much about our island's local cuisine? Local cuisine? You mean like the Isle Locomoco? Wow, it really was Uncle Columba. Well, I'm actually looking for island specialties right now. What kind of dish is Isle Loco Moco exa exactly? It's white rice topped with hamburger, a fried egg, and local vegetables. It was pretty popular back in the day. Young guys on the island would have it for lunch since it's so filling. I can make you one if you want. Oh, please, thanks! My friend wanted to try it, so can you put it in a box? Sure, give me a moment. It does sound pretty good, actually. Here you go. The Io Loco Moco has been gotten. Wow, it's most delicious. I might steal some before I give it to Geo. Glad to hear it. I make it for Ada on occasion, but she always wants it modified. What you've got now is the result of many tweaks to the recipe. So I guess it was worth the struggle. Oh, you don't say. Well, in any event, thank you. All that's left now is the ruins rock salt that the village chief mentioned. Seems like it can be found near the ruins by the sea, so I guess I'll take a look. Nayuda! Come drink with my daughter! We shall craft the finest children that Remnant Isle has seen yet! There's a beautiful white crystal in the shadow of the ruins. This looks like the ruined rock salt that Chief uh, Serpents was talking about. Finding the salt is annoying without the guide. I saw the I saw it here. I was gonna mention this. I saw the like picture of it here on the guide, and I'm like, Falcom, I swear to God, <laughs> this is so vague. It's like the Kingdom Hearts one thing where you gotta find the fish and stuff like that. Like now it's like second nature, like where they are and stuff like that. But you have to like basically swim throughout all the water in Kingdom Hearts one to find three fish, and they can swim away from you too. So it's like you stupid little buggers, get your ass over here! I swear to God. I need, I, uh, I don't have it memorized. Guavs has it memorized, but he does a fantastic voicing of the guy from Jack and Daxter with the uh, the fishing mini game. That dude has the best voice. It is so funny. I don't have it memorized. I really need to memorize the line, but Guavs does it perfectly to a T. One pound fishy. Three pound fishy, but beware, <laughs> the equal of lurking fish. If you catch even one, you'll spoil the whole bunch. <laughs> I need to learn it. I really do need to learn it. There be poisonous eels. <laughs> That's 
so good. No, hold on. No, hold on. I have to play it. I have to play it. No, I have to. It's so good. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no. Jack and Dexter. Is she? Where's the freaking dude? 10,000 pounds of fish? Wait, what? No, where's the line? My boy. Something fishy. Oh, where's the dude? Where's the dude? Hold on, I can find it. Oh, what is this? Oh no, hold on. I am not dead ass going through an entire long play just to find this dude. 90. <laughs> Precursor orbs, and we'll give you power cells. This guy here just, just a few souvenirs for the memories. Oh my gosh, oh Nem. Congratulations on your one year of subscriptions. Thank you so much for the one year. And enjoy your lurk. It is very late for you, young woman. I had to do something. You can't pay him. <laughs> young lady. I don't think. Go to sleep. Hold on, I gotta find it. Where is it? This is the episode. I know, I know it's this is where it is. Talk to him as soon as I a year of Nem. Oh, found it. Hold on. Get him. The island. You want to try to catch There's a southern guy in a bayou later. There are two types of good fish to catch. I'm playing Val, so I can't type. Ah, no worries. I do appreciate the lurk, and I do appreciate the uh, the uh, the year of subscriptions. I don't know if you guys will hear this. Well, well, it's a let's play, so we'll just kind of go with it. Catch one pound fishies and five pound fishies. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. Dare poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers. And you'll poison the whole darn catch. Yeah, one, just one. Yep, basically that. I'll find it. I'll I'll find a way to get the uh, the whole thing too. Um, but oh my god, the freaking thing is so good. Oh boy, wow, a year of subs, huh? Speaking of, um, Nem and I have been working on the sub badges, so we will be getting a couple more out here uh, very shortly. I just have a couple of questions for our good artists when when they are free. Uh, so we will have those soon. So we'll be uh, so we'll be pretty much good for up for a year. I think we'll have one month, two month, three month, six month, nine month, and twelve month. I think, and maybe one more in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, those will be those will be out soon. So if you're looking to grab yourself a shell and want and you know want for the subscription stuff, um, we'll be getting some new badges soon. All right, let's uh, let's finish this quest, shall we? Nayuda, looks like you tracked down some of your island specialties. Yes, please take this. He handed over the Isle Lokomogo and the Ruins Rock Salt. Oh, now aren't these interesting? They look so good! Allow me to give them one look at a time. This one looks like a kind of squid dried in the sun. Dried food is made in many parts of the village. Our village chief often eats it as a snack. A human snack, you say? Let's give it a try, then. It's awfully chewy and quite salty. How delicious! He doesn't look like someone who would enjoy dried squid, so... I guess he's older than me after all. Next up must be this wrapped loco moco, was it? Mmm, this meaty treat would be perfect for those who partake in heavy lifting. And the depth of flavor of the earlier dried squid must mean it's natural. No doubt fishing is one of your home's main industries. Right. You can tell that just from a dish? Oh, I haven't lived a long life for nothing. Food is inseparable from the way of life. Um, um. Yum. Well, I'm sure you too will learn as much as will learn as much as you get older. You know. I will play the old man card here one time. He is not wrong. 
the older you get and the better of a palette that you obtain, either through experimentation or just old adult palette that comes in naturally. Um, yeah, it, it, it really does change your, uh, it does change your worldview quite a lot when you get uh, adult palette and it's great. Um, the biggest example I have to give is like spinach and mushrooms and stuff like that. Hated them as a kid, but now it's like, oh my God, this stuff is amazing. Especially mushrooms. Mushrooms are great. Please eat mushrooms. They're good. Also beans. Beans are good too, but mushrooms are amazing. Except for portobello mushrooms. They suck. They're the worst kind of mushroom. But uh, there, for those of you who are here, you got to hear the one time I will throw the old man card on myself. Congratulations. I hope so. And lastly, this rock salt's pretty as a jewel. Rock salt can be found all over the world, but this beauty's got no peers. As the name implies, it came from the ruins that fall on onto our shores. Ruins that fell? Fall? I'm good with spinach, but you still can't get me to eat mushrooms. We'll do it, Rio. We'll find something that gives you the mushy love. Having more meals means having more chances to try new things and change your mind. Exactly. See? Oh, uh, oh, uh, sometimes ruins fall from the sky in our world. Apparently it's been happening for a long time. Remnant Isle is said to be the result of the accumulation. I want to try even less now. No! Alright, listen, when we inevitably meet up, which, honestly, we should figure out next year, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll find something. This is an intriguing phenomenon. Come to think of it, Noi and I first met some fallen ruins. Yeah, the power Zek stole from me went out of control and sent me there. I remember you mentioned that. If I hadn't found Noi, I never would have come to Terra. <laughs> that makes me feel a little emotional. Noi? Something on your mind? No, nothing like that. Then let us enjoy the rock salt. Mmm, it's the perfect amount of bitter and umami flavor. Oh, you really show me some interesting things, Nayuda. Thank you. You've given me a real look into how you humans live together. No wonder Noi is so interested. Interested? I told you it was just a coincidence that Nayuda and I teamed up. And Nayuda and Earth are probably unique. Most humans are savage and violent and will attack if you're not careful. I don't think there are many people like that. Where does her impression of humans even come from? Oh, your weak-hearted response has left me unconvinced. But you've done the job. In lieu of the reward, I got you this. Another power. We received the uh, summer art, Soul Erase. That sounds so cool. Geo, this is... I'm not surprised you're familiar with it. It's one of the arts allowed only to us administrators. Using it isn't easy. But it can be extremely effective. Are you sure you can give us something so powerful? Oh, it's just my way of saying thanks. And I expect I'll still be needing your help in the times to come. Thank you again. Now let's go get the Master Gear back. Yeah, let's do our best. Nice. Okay, uh, two... I don't think we need to do anything more in Remnant Isle. Um, so I will move to Terra. And I will save. Uh, how much time do we have? I think we still have another 20 minutes, so we can do that. Um, I guess we can't do that yet. This is blocked off to us. This is blocked off to us. We can now go to Reesweld. Mushrooms are pretty good with rice, fried eggs, seaweed, and steak. Can't remember the name, though. Like, what type of mushroom specifically you're looking for? Okay, in this one, we have three crystals to get, a chest for Noi, and destroy at least 16 objects. So I will at least do this stage um, before we call it an A. Chasms of the Deep, Reeswelled. Mushrooms on burgers and omelets on real. Yeah, I agree. Great, another oversized cave! Still, the light reflecting off the water is quite striking. Yeah, but the climate's all weird. Everything should be frozen over this time of year. <gasps> There's an ice level! Oh yeah, Hiko, if you're still here, there is very clearly a lava level. So this game is already amazing for you. 
All that aside, Cigna should be here somewhere. We've got to get the Master Gear back from Zext. Yeah, let's go as far as we can. Alright, I'm gonna... Beaming Bob. Oh, Beaming Bob's great! Beaming Bob's great. Um, what I was gonna say was, I'm gonna shut up for a couple minutes so we can listen to the music. Song changes time signatures a lot. Yeah, I can tell. It's pretty interesting. Nayuda can swim. We can. That's actually pretty crazy. Why is it that Adol can't swim in his games? Given the fact, like, he's such a great warrior. And, like, basically gets into a shipwreck every five seconds. Have you ever sneezed so hard that you get a headache and suffer recoil damage? <laughs> yes, actually, yes. That has happened to me. Get out, you derpy fish. Oh, Guaz, did you just have that right now, dude? Yeah. Huge potato. That's a carrot. He can swim in Salsetta. He can, actually. That's a good point. Man, better be able to swim in East 10 if we have ship combat. I will say that though. I can't even tell what the melody is going either, actually. Ow! What is your deal? Okay, well, that works too, I guess. <laughs> Thank you very much, she. Thank you very much, she. Five four by three, six four by one, five four by two, six four by two at the beginning part, then all, and then all three four. 
Oh, dude, you know what it reminds me of now that you bring up 5-4 and 6-4, uh, Bleba? It reminds me of, um, Rural City of, uh, what is it called? Asteria? Or Makai City of Asteria? Um, Stage 5 of, um, UFO. Where it just alternates 6-4... Uh, and 5-4 over and over, or 5-4 and 6-4 over and over again, or 11-4 if you really want to make things easy, I guess. Rule Makai Esoterica. Es yeah, that song. Banger stage theme, by the way. That's such a great theme. I love that stage. Not looking forward to it when I get to play UFO on Lunatic. I'm not going to lie. UFO is going to be the last game I play on my Lunatic runs. Because it terrifies me. But, uh, hey, you know what? Just, we'll do it. Um, no, um, when I come back from str for streaming, uh, like, generally, um, the, uh, the next, uh, game we're gonna be doing in the uh, Toho, uh, league is, um, Toho 6, um, uh, Bodyman Scarlet Devil, uh, because I might as well take care of it while I'm here, and it's gonna suck anyway, so we're just gonna do that one and pray to the ever-living gods all above that I can RNG my way to victory because holy crap that game is not great. Illusory White Travel also has 5-4 parts. It does. I also love that stage theme so much. We actually finished that one pretty quick so I can do one more. Bubba, have you seen the video of the 10-hour Toho mix where it has everything, like the music CDs, like all the Toho stage themes, and even the fighter themes and stuff like that? It's just a 10-hour mix. I love stage themes so much. They're so good! Zoot is so good! You know it's another really good stage theme now that we're talking about it? Um, LOL K Stage 4. Uh, Toho 15 Stage 4. My god. My god, what a theme. So good. What is this? A giant gear? Maybe the thing in the ceiling finally fell down. I keep seeing gears everywhere I look. I have. I prefer play playlist form, but seeing the length of long videos are so cool. I do too, but not gonna lie, when I'm like showering or like walking or like driving and stuff like that, the long form helps a ton. Because it's just like, it's just gonna go on its own. And it's great. I guess this really is a world that the people of Mythos created. The problem is, there's a playlist out there that has um, every single Toho soundtrack. Uh, in it, but YouTube Shuffle is weird, and it, like, it stays in, like, particular areas. Like, you'll be stuck in, like, Toe 4, Toe 5 for a bit, and then it'll, like, slowly move its way to, like, PCBIN, and then it'll eventually just randomly go to, like, TD, and it's just, like, if it was a true Shuffle, I would love it. Ah, it seems there are still more amazing things hidden besides the Astrolab. I'd love to examine them, too. Okay. Uh, my bad. We need to focus on finding Cigna. And that means doing something about this gear blocking your path. No problem. We've got the gear buster now. The power Geo gave us, we shouldn't have any trouble smashing this gear. Alright, then let's give it a try. It's actually random on my computer, but not on my phone. Really? YouTube on PC sometimes also will be like, Oh, you want to shuffle? I'm just going to pretend that you didn't do that. Defeat at least 10 monsters with arts. I can do that. Oh. God damn you. EOC is not the only mainline Toe game I haven't played. Really? Don't worry, you're not missing much.
Oh my god. Bullet B. That's probably a cool art. Oh, I want to level up too. Nice. For sure. Maybe you can do it at the same time that I play Lunatic. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, that's Crystal One. Got it. Boink. I love the default chomp sound effect. The fish vinnies make me laugh every time. Alcoma <laughs> is pretty good at their sound effects. Oh, why do I have to go through this? What was that voice? No way! It's like when Geo was trapped. Eris, is that you, Eris? No way, Noi? Are you nearby? Whew. I'm so glad you're safe. I'm gonna try and guess this one. Um. Okay. Sounds like a woman. Yes, she's the songstress, uh, Eris Lett, this continent's administrator. Huh? What's this? I sense an unusual presence. <coughs> <coughs> nope, too high. <coughs> Is that a human? I, I can't believe Noe is working with a human. Oh, uh, well, I'm Nayuda. A lot's happened, so... Nayuda brought Eris Lett up to speed with a brief explanation. I see, so Altopia went through something similar. Sex captured me too, when I was in the temple. I can't even sing, and of all things, he's using the name of the Head of Mythos. It's really unforgivable. Yeah, I can't just let him get away with this. Especially if they're planning to stop the temple here too. I'd assume so, since the situation is so similar. Noi, and you too, Nayuda. Please, hurry to the temple. It hasn't been long since I was captured, so I'm sure you can make it if you hurry. I'm counting on you guys. I'll take care of it. Just sit tight, Ares. We'll get the Master Gear back and get you out of there right away. the start of the stage. I did not really pay attention to where that gate opened, that's for sure. Uh-huh.
Supposedly there's a chest around here or something? Sort of. Sort of. <coughs> Wait, I thought I couldn't kill those things. With physical attacks, what the heck? <clears throat> Oh god, even if I hydrate, what's going on with my throat? <clears throat> I take one week off of streaming and I can't freaking speak anymore? Dang, dude. <clears throat> no more breaks for old Goldie. <clears throat> oh my god, the freaking dudes. I think the recordings of me playing through these levels <clears throat> on different seasons. Oh, that's really cool. Do you have that video somewhere? I would love to see it after um, I beat the game or like a specific area or something like uh, once I beat, yeah, with all four seasons and stuff like that. That would be really cool to see. Oh, here it is. Spiked mace. Oh, lame. Huh. <laughs> I have the better version. I do. I'll send a raw recording of one level with Alta Pia Spring and Summer. Let's go. I will watch that after stream. Why? There is a crystal over here. And I can see the third crystal from here, actually. <clears throat> I love how all the way they do sink. It's kind of funny, actually, for being fish. It is pretty funny. Ooh. Nice, just destroyed him. We're too strong, actually. We're really strong. I kind of forgot I was playing on hard mode, I'm not gonna lie. Well, three, three, and three. We're good to go. <clears throat> now we can just work our way to the end of the level, and we are good to go and call it a night. New technique. So let's go back to. Well, we're in terror. Hmm. You All right. 
What are we gonna get? Press R1 at the right time. Wait, what? Wait, we're learning guard now? Why are we learning guard now? What? Be sure to keep up with your training. Oh my god, we can flash guard. What? Why is that not like the one of the first things we learn? Ah, whatever. We can do museum stuff here, too. Open the other room! Thanks, hon. Why are we like this? I want to see my turtle, bro. I want to see my brother at all. Look at the beetle up there. That's pretty cool. He's just chilling. They expect most players f to forget about the guard button. <laughs> Why? I mean, the dodge roll is great. Don't get me wrong. The dodge roll is great, but I haven't found a good place to map it yet, actually. Uh, we have enough money to buy a lot of things if we want to. For the sake of completion, though, I kind of want to buy these things, but at the same time, I don't. We're good. See you next time. All right, we're going to call it there. Blah, 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 blah. All righty. Ending soon. We haven't done this in Hotman, have we? All righty. So. Oof, still sitting at 269. Can't hit that 270 even number, but that's okay. I guess people don't want me to sing. What can I say? People want me to sing. They gotta help me hit that big three undo. But I guess not. That's okay. No worries. Thank you all for joining me in tonight's session of Trails in uh, A Legend of Nayuda, uh, Boundless Trails. I'm gonna send this over to Jenny, who's playing some Lethal Company. Um... As mentioned before, there will be nothing this Thursday, but Friday, we are going to be having a collab with uh, Nem, who is in chat right now. Um, you know what? Let's, 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 while she's here, while she's here, let's also shout out Nem, because they're a wonderful person. I'm sure, sure everyone here follows Nem, but if you don't already, go follow them, because they're the most wonderful. Um, and it'll be fun collabing with her on Friday with Peanut and with Yahiko. And then Sunday, I will be playing Pode with uh, Juniper um, on Sunday at noon. And then videos will be up as per the usual. Um, with that, I think we're good to go. I'll send this on over to Jenny. Let me just make sure that they're still planning on streaming for a bit. Yes, they are. Alrighty. Nam, you need sleep, buddy. I know you're playing Val, but you're going to be tired tomorrow. <laughs> we all need sleep, don't we? Alright, once this ad ends, I can send us over. Silly ads, I swear to God. I just want... I just want to... just want to watch the... I want to watch the streamer. Onegaishimasu! Okay, there we go. Bye!